Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the NECA Toys Alien 3, the dog alien. There's a certain irony to the fact that uh, we've all dubbed this the dog alien, but really the director's cut of Alien 3 never had a dog at all. In fact, I think it was a, an ox or one of the worker animals that pulled the pod out of the water, that that was the thing that got impregnated by the face hugger. So really, if they had kept the director's cut version of Alien 3 intact, we would have never even probably called this the dog alien. We would have called it the ox alien, or again, whatever that creature ended up being. Needless to say, the dog alien, despite Alien 3 not being a great alien sequel, the dog alien still stands out as uh, a very memorable alien creature. Uh, this comes to us from the folks over at NECA Toys. Uh, warning, choking hazard, small parts not for children under three years of age. It is recommended for ages 17 and up. We flip around the back of the box. Your read-up says, after narrowly escaping LV-426, Ripley and the remaining crew of the USS Sulaco enter hypersleep for the long journey back to Earth. But a crash landing leaves Ripley alone and stranded on maximum security penal planet uh, Fiorina Fury 161. She's surrounded by inmates whose double Y chromosome makes them the most violent men in the galaxy. But there's something far more dangerous lurking in the shadows, something that may have been in their escape pod all along. Not really sure how an alien got on board the pod for all intents and purposes. I mean, really, it was only the queen that made it back onto the ship, but kind of just suspend disbelief. Uh, Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. Certainly, when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the dog alien. There's more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Out of packaging, the dog alien ends up being one of the coolest coolest aliens that we've gotten from the folks over at NECA. Currently, I've got them displayed with the clear display stand that comes included with the figure. The display stand can be a little problematic getting it around the waist of the dog alien. It also has a clear plastic clip, so I'm hoping that this will stand the test of time. It's a very small uh, plastic uh, piece here, so hopefully that won't break at any given point. The figure, though, is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Spot's already picked up, well, I had a, initially in my collection the uh, the McFarlane Toys dog alien. And as great as that figure was, the one problem it faced was that it was pre-posed. It was kind of in a crouching position, and you really couldn't do too much with it above and beyond that. The NECA, on the other hand, the, the version that they've released is quite spectacular. Um, the thing about the the I, th I think really where it would start um, for being a fantastic figure is this the face. This face is so cool. He's got a clear, partially translucent dome, but they've darkened it at the front as well as the back of the dome that it gives it this really great transition from being a dark uh, f front, clear, and then all the way back to the dark again. And in the clear, you can see all the ridges of his of his, uh, his helmet uh, head underneath there. The mouth, just in case you are wondering, does open. And uh, you can remove the, not remove completely, but you can extend out the smaller jaw of the, uh, the face there. The face is really nice. The sculpt on the head is, is just awesome. I'm kind of a loss for words actually looking at this piece for how great it actually is. The general uh, color scheme of the dog alien is more brown in color than previous released aliens. The other aliens are more, more like a black gray color and it's the dog alien that started kind of getting into that more brown color scheme. But uh, I like it. I like it a lot. And the paint, they've given like a wet look to it really gives it that realistic, as realistic as I could say, uh, for it being an alien, but still, it's it gives it that really realistic approach. If it was matte, it was like a matte paint, I don't know if I would appreciate it as much, but 
it works. It works when it's in this wet brown color. It's also very poseable too. Um, you could, if you extend the legs out, you end up getting an extremely tall alien, but the dog alien really didn't move in that fashion. It was more crouched all the time and it ran on fours. Uh, so, I mean, you can really accomplish that with the kind of articulation they've given to this piece. He's an extremely long tail, one of the longer tails for an alien figure, and it still has a wire frame, so you can manipulate it and bend it depending on how you want to have it posed. Uh, once again, you can play the the display stand in with your displaying of the piece, but be very careful when you are attaching it to his waist. The best place to attach it is in this waist section here. You could probably attach it also to his thigh, but the most secure fit is going to be around the waist area. But I would just say, be extremely careful as this is a clear plastic. You don't want this breaking at all. Uh, when it comes to his articulation though, the dog alien again has lots. He does have a ball joint in the head. It does look like also his neck does swivel, but most of the articulation resides in the head itself. Shoulders are on a ball hinge joint. They rotate out, forward and back. Nice bend and rotation in the elbow via a ball hinge joint as well. Hands rotate very easily. There's a hinge there. He has the upper torso ball joint. Kind of gets a little loose, unfortunately. Like, I don't know how loose this will get over time. Uh, legs, also that same ball hinge joint. He has a double bend at the knee. One of the few times I've seen that with an alien figure a nice double bend at the knee. I don't think other alien figures, I might be wrong, but other alien figures, I don't think had the double hinge in the knee like that. He has a hinge also at the back leg. And finally, he has a bowl, kind of a swivel. It's really an interesting joint. He has a swivel joint kind of in the foot. All of that though adds up to a figure that, again, you can get a lot of very interesting and fairly accurate poses for the dog alien. It's just a matter of getting some manipulation going and bending him depending on how you want to pose him. I guess the only thing I really would have liked is a, a better, maybe a better hinge in the head. Had there been a section where you could have taken the neck and extended the neck further back, the neck doesn't look like it, hin it hinges further back than what you've got right there. So I guess if you want to have him looking forward, you have to manipulate a little bit more in the shoulders and torso area to get the the head to be looking more so up. It's uh, it's really though a beautiful looking piece. Again, one of NECA's finest, if you ask me, when it comes to their alien pieces. They have done a lot of incredible alien pieces, but I think this guy trumps all of them. Uh, I'm going to give the dog alien for how fantastic he turned out. I'm going to give the dog alien a 9.5. Kind of makes me think I want to go back and get a couple more of these guys. But uh, yeah, if you guys if you guys are interested in picking up an alien figure, you're not quite sure where to start. Start with this guy, without a doubt. Start with this guy. Today's toy spot. We're having a look at the NECA Toys Alien Three, the Dog Alien. Also doing a review of this guy makes me think I want to go back and watch Alien again. And usually when I do Alien Three, I usually tend to go with the uh, the director's cut. It has more content to it. It just kind of makes more sense if you ever get a chance to watch the director's cut. The regular version was good, but I think the only thing that was good about the regular version versus director's cut was the fact that it was a dog rather than, again, whatever it was. I think it was an ox or, or what have you. I digress. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos. Anyway, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.